what is going on you guys kg from kg studios here with another video i want to try to push out another video while i'm actually not working at this moment try to get a little bit more engagement now i'm not even gonna lie to you i'm using you all right now i wanted to go ahead and then i was in the mood to make some some more vintage phone ringing oh wow anyway sorry about that um i forgot what i wanted to say no i didn't uh i was in the mood to make a vintage design i was in the mood to create almost sort of bootlegish, but not if that makes sense for some reason in my head i uh i wanted to make one with with arnold schwarzenegger uh so i'm gonna do such i'm gonna do such a thing we're gonna see how it turns out we'll 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 keep going along the way so let's see what we could come up with i actually have uh, all of my my sizes already saved for stuff from my 8x10s my cover arts my instagram posters logos two different shirt ratios oh shit i didn't put the other shirt ratio i thought i saved it well now i just look like a liar but anyway we use shirt ratio here I got this shirt size from uh, from Duran, from how most of his products end up going, and so I already have a, uh, already have some pictures of Arnold up uh, with my savings. It's larger than four VPN. Uh, VPN? No, I. I'm, if you go underneath quick settings and go to advanced search, uh, you can mess with with all of this, find images with these words, but I look for, uh, I searched for four VPN. God, why do I keep saying VPN? We got some nice pictures of Arnold here. I'll probably end up using majority of these uh, because the idea I have in my head is him doing the main pose here and then three to four of him doing some sort of pose uh, at the bottom. Just making it look cool. Now that we're just gonna go with the flow here. It's already at a pretty decent size here. Uh, though I only plan on using about half of him here. Like subject. Okay, not 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 where I want it to be, but it's not the not the worst. Right, so just checking to make sure that mostly everything is good. A little bit of an older picture anyway, but man, look at that physique of a man get him into our canvas i like to convert it to smart filter so that way we could go ahead and try to be as little less destructive here's what i'm thinking text wise is uh the main concept of nice big square behind him that has his last name arnold with a little bit of cursive over here works let's see how that's going to play out for us I'm just copying and pasting his last name. I want to make sure I spell it right. Let's see this. Let's see. basic it's basic enough so I know I want Arnold here I don't want him blocking too much though so let me just go ahead and write uh, Arnold and uh, we'll figure out placement afterwards I think this is pretty old school enough. I'm gonna rasterize. Go underneath transform, make sure it's in the middle. I'm gonna scale that down a little bit. And move that up. 
we got our text layer. We have Arnold that we're going to move upward again and leave that behind. So I'll just put outline. Sweet. Now that we got Arnold here, let's go ahead and scale him down a little bit. And I like the idea of putting him over the text a little bit. He is a gigantic monster after all. Uh, God save the queen and all that, you know, wherever he's from, uh, Welsh. Uh, let's keep going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up everything where I have all of my Photoshop essentials. Fuller pack. Uh, I'm gonna tell you all about this. Fuller has never talked about this, at least for the longest that I've followed him, which has been for three years at this point. But he actually has a hidden pack outside in this world, exclusively on Creative Market, as far as I know. Uh, I don't know if it's still up. I might have purchased it before it went down. I haven't checked. But he has something called the Classic Rock Elements, maybe. Uh, it's different from his textiles that he put out. This is specifically Elements. So, for example, they have, you know, the Elements, Classic Rock Low Lights, an example. Uh, a bonus texture as well as uh, some classic rock frames which is really cool circular they have circle with stars and they have some pyramid frames so I think that with my pyramid frames I'm gonna want to use them I believe I want to use my pyramid frames and uh, in line three up at the bottom each one having a particular pose of his and uh, we'll we'll see how that ends up looking as we go on. Let's play with this stroke a little bit. It's already at 50. Um, I want them to be fairly thick, so let's do 100. So as I said, my idea is to fit at least three of them here. Sweet. Yeah, that works for me. We'll go ahead and place them still in the middle here, but kind of block that off. Let's create another one. I'll make them black. Make sure to keep this one as outline, because what I'm going to want to do is probably fill them. Fill it with what? I don't know. Let's figure that out. What I'm thinking here is I'm just going to end up taking the backgrounds and just turning that into the clipping mask and uh, just more of cutting out his actual form uh, so that way it looks like he's popping out of the frame here. Go ahead and hide that so that way he can hop out of the frame of these pictures uh, if that makes any sense. So more or less like this with all of the pictures here. So I'm going to go in, start clipping them, and we're going to start putting them all together and see what we could come up with. How we feel about that? I think that looks pretty cool actually. I like that a lot. We got a lot of blank space still here. Um, as I said at the bottom, I'm iffy on it. Don't know 100% for sure, but I'll probably put, you know, all of his Mr. Olympia. Not all of his wins, but you know, the 87 time Mr. Olympia. Um, Let's add that underneath our text file. Make a copy. And then rasterize it. Might be crazy when I say this, but I think I'm going to keep it right here. Um, I know there probably is a way I could add a background, but if we're also thinking about some of the, as I said, 80s feels, like 70s, 80s feels, there really wasn't a whole lot of background to it. 
All right, I'm gonna lock my text for now. This is our group with uh, our triangles here. So what I want to do is see possibly with this outline, uh, making it a little bit more special. So I do apologize because I have been using this one a lot, but I loved, I just love to shine on it. So I think I'm just gonna have to use it. I'm gonna have to just, well, you're just gonna have to deal with it because this is my design right now. So what I'm now gonna do is create another group. Except we're going to mash it all together because what I'm going to do uh, here is go underneath my 90 skin tones and kind of just let it do its thing because what this actually does for me is you don't need these color overlays just be that color so I'm going to go in and this is going to make everything specifically white that I want it to be white find his shade a little bit lighter for me like that yeah that underneath this color overlay not color that because that's giving a little bit definition into his hair and uh, if we make it completely black it's not gonna work out how I want it to let's do the same thing with this horn on now my only thing is I do want some black into it so what I'm gonna actually end up doing here is uh, we're gonna run Xerox by Duran, except instead of stamp, I may just mess with torn edges. You know what, that actually is gonna work just fine for me. Um, This group. Boop. There you go. Done yet. I'm going to add a texture over it. Then we're going to put it on the mock up and then we're going to call it a day. What kind of day is it? It's a new day. Yes, it is. Oh, we're going to add a layer mask here. Go over to our textures. Keep the raw. Store our worn plastic saws. I want to show some true age on it, so I'm going to choose this one, hold alt, take it to the white part, there we go, I like that, and that gives us some wear and tear on it. And here we are ladies and gentlemen, our finished product. The Arnold Schwarzenegger of Mr. Olympia shirt. Uh, this was pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. This was a little bit out of my element, but that's why I wanted to do it. As well as I wanted to make a YouTube video out of it to show you just how chaotic my brain is at the moment. So, I will leave you with this. I thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you all at the next one. Bye bye.